Hi everybody, welcome back to the beautiful Sipsco Coast. Man, I am sorry, it's been a while. It's been like a week since we had an episode of this. Uh, and that's because I was trying to wrap up Grim Fandango and Hotline Miami 2, which I'm happy to say I was successful in doing. Uh, I managed to wrap them both up at the same time. I didn't plan it that way, uh, it just happened. Uh, and it's great, so now I can get back to uh, playing Sipsco Coast. I'll have more time to stream Jazzland if you've been following that as well. Um, I understand that two hour videos are kind of long and that uh, not everybody wants to watch like a two and a half hour live stream or whatever, but those are simply there for the people that feel like they're missing out uh, and they don't want to miss out uh, and it's easier for them to watch. So if you're not watching that, uh, don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. It's just there for people uh, who uh, are sad because they miss the live streams and want to see them uh, and feel like they're missing out on something or whatever. Um, it has no effect on this series. This series will continue in the same format that it always has. Uh, we'll continue building the Sipsco Coast. We got Donutsville. We got Satansville. Uh, we got Bagelsville. And we have Downtown Clown Town, Leroy Brown, as well. Uh, what did we do last time? We started this, didn't we? We, uh, we made this like little service area over here, with the solar power plant. Uh, we added uh, all of these in as well and we have all of our incinerators over here and a fire station uh, and we managed to clean up brown dong bay which is no longer a brown dong it's just like a sort of tanned dong now look see it's very uh turquoisey over here but you'll notice that there's still sort of a taint on the bay and uh, a selectable oh it's brown dong bay but we just can't see it saying Brown Dong Bay. I thought there was a road like under underwater or something. That's weird. How come it doesn't say Brown Dong Bay there? <laughs> Maybe we need to change it. Maybe we should call it uh, Tan Dong Bay. It sounds very Asian now, doesn't it? So Tan Tan Dong Bay. There we go. It is now Tan Dong Bay uh, because it is a tanned dong. All right. Excellent. So. Uh, we were talking about getting like a, a Bon Jovi concert hall uh, in downtown Clown Town, and we sort of earmarked this area for it, right? I don't know. Uh, actually, let's uh, speed things up. Uh, I don't know how much traffic that's going to generate, and actually, I'm a little bit scared. But screw it, right? We got a lot of money, uh, and I feel like now is the time to uh, get some rip roaring tourism into. Uh, our fair city. Uh, all the people are clamoring for it. Even the Satanists are like, God, I am so bored. All I want is for Bon Jovi to turn up and rock my socks right off. So fine, we're gonna do it. We're gonna actually introduce uh, some sort of level of Bon Jovi into the city in the form of an opera house. No, in the form of an expo center. Trade shows and conferences attract visitors. And of course, when we say trade shows and conferences, we mean non-stop back-to-back uh, -back Bon Jovi concerts every night at 8 p.m. Right? Right. Okay, excellent. So, it's not actually that big. Uh, we can fit it in here uh, quite snugly and then we can have some access to it. So I feel like maybe a one-way road to it. We'll have some parks and stuff around. We'll beautify the whole area uh, so that when Bon Jovi is uh, done uh, with his concert every night, he can go out into the park and, I don't know, like sell crack or have his lunch or whatever Bon Jovi likes to do after he's uh, just entertained like millions of adoring fans. Something like that anyway, right? Possibly? Maybe not? Okay, fine. So I think the one way can go uh, this way. So we'll get the old uh, freeform road uh, in full effect. We'll have this little turning off here uh, and then we can have this one way road. I don't think it's going to generate that much traffic to be honest. So I think we can sort of do something like this. We can like follow the road. Well, we'll go straight for a bit. It needs to be like straight for a little bit anyway, I think, just so that we can actually plop the thing next to it. Uh, and then it can sort of curve up like this, follow the road around uh, to here maybe, and then maybe follow the road further along down here. It will have like this nice little uh, area for like parks and stuff like that. And then it can hook up again on this road. So it might get a little bit busy around here, but I think it'll be okay. All right, great. So let's go in and let's get this. It's going to cost us uh, 1600 a week, which actually we might not be able to afford right now, but it costs 100000 to plop down and we have $4 million in the bank. So we could probably do this. All right, so let's get this down here and see how we fare. 
Wow, okay, everybody's going crazy. There's no water uh, in the uh, Bon Jovi Memorial uh, Expo Center. So we're gonna have to add some. Get some pipes in, excellent. Uh, and we will rename this the John, it's John, isn't it? Bon Jovi Memorial. <laughs> Memorial Expo <laughs> Center. Does it, <laughs> sent. Okay, sent. There we go. The John Bon Jovi Memorial Expo Center. Excellent. Okay, so we now have an Expo Center, uh, and we've just managed to skim back into the green uh, in the old finance department. Our weekly income is not in the red anymore, although it is dropping slightly. How many people? Look at that. Four people turned up to the John Bon Jovi concert last week. Fantastic. Already we're off to like a rip-roaring start. Okay, great. Let us make uh, some sort of... What is this? Oh, this is the parking lot. Oh my god. Okay. I downloaded a parking lot, okay? I, I downloaded this parking lot off the Steam Workshop because uh, I was using it in my in my streaming city in Jazzland, but actually this works. This is going to work perfect. This is going to be fantastic. Okay, so what we can do is we can have a parking lot here, all right? So people can park at the John Bon Jovi concert. Fantastic. Uh, we will change over to roads because we want to have a parking lot on the other side. So this can just be a two lane, I think, even though that's like one way or whatever. Uh, and I think it'll come down to here. So there's parking like on the other side too. I hope this works. I have a feeling that it will work, uh, but we don't want to connect it up to that road and maybe not like right to the, I think like that might work. Although we might want it like here. Will this work? Can we get another parking lot in on the other side? Oh boy, I sure hope so. That would be fantastic. All right, let's see if it's perfecto. All right, so um, somehow this parking lot is classed as a park ing lot. And because it's a park, it adds the land value of the surrounding area too. So now we have these parking lots. Oh, look at these parking lots. Fantastic, okay. So I was gonna actually build a park, but I don't think I need to now. What kind of like fancy parks do we have? We have a friendly neighborhood park, which would fit uh, in here quite nicely or right across the road from the Expo Center. It's a friendly neighborhood park. Perfect for Bon Jovi himself to deal crack in. Excellent, we'll place that. And that's of course going to add a lot of value to the surrounding area as well. Great, okay, so everybody here is going to be deafened by the sounds of living on a prayer and such. But it's okay. It's totally worth it, right? Everybody is going to be pretty happy about that. Okay. Let's get some paths so that we can, like, maybe... Can we actually fill up, like, some of this and make it look more like a concrete jungle? Because I feel like that's something that I would definitely like to do. There's a path leading randomly from the road to the expo center. Okay, we can have some trees and, and decorate this area and stuff as well. And then we can make, like, some fancy, like, path that goes like directly to the we'll make like our own sort of park here so right to the expo center and then connecting on both sides oh and then a little trick that i learned while i was streaming as well check this out okay we don't want cars parking on the side of the road right we want them to actually come and use the parking the primary parking and the overflow parking for the bon jovi concert hall okay so the only way that we can do that is by upgrading these roads look we're gonna upgrade this uh, one-way road here to have trees on the side and no cars are gonna park on the side. Can you believe that? That's incredible, isn't it? And it looks nice too. There we go, so now it's a one-way and it's still going the right way, but it's lined with trees and no cars will park on the side of the road. And now they'll be forced to actually drive in and use this parking lot. And look, some people already have turned up to use these parking lots. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay, so we want two-way with trees on the side too so that we can hook up there Excellent. So see this car was like thinking about it. It's a cop car thinking about it And then he's like, oh, no, I better park up actually so that I can watch uh, Bon Jovi in all of his majestical glory Excellent. All right, and no Expo Center is complete without a couple of convenience stores uh, convenience stores um, strategically located just outside so that people can go and buy some Doritos or some uh, nachos or whatever nachos with cheese and maybe like a big gulp or whatever and that would be nice and hopefully some people will set up like hamburger stalls and stuff outside too that would be fantastic excellent okay great so let's get some nice palm trees uh, in here we're gonna like line up some nice palm trees we're gonna create like a palm tree paradise 
for all of the people that are parking at the Bon Jovi Memorial Concert Hall in the Sipsco Coast. Excellent. Uh, and now it, they have this path as well so that they can get from the parking lot directly to the road if they want to. That's fantastic. Great. Okay. I think we're like in okay shape here. We can add like some more trees and stuff in here just to like fill it out a bit. We want this to be like nice and wooded. Um, and we might need some more paths as well, actually. We'll have like a couple more paths that come off of this park. So like that lead to the road. Uh, so like that. And this one can actually like come around and attach to the road here so that people can get from the parking lot, the overflow parking lot, uh, straight to the park. And then we can maybe have a path like that as well. Even though there's like this weird sand stuff in between. It's fine. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and we have a like slight demand for commercial. So let's just get a couple of little commercial buildings in here as well. Uh, just so there's more places for people uh, to go and buy food and stuff like that. That's going to be fantastic. Okay, excellent. So let's fill this all up with trees. I'm just doing it manually. I could use like the, the uh, tree um, brush tool thing or whatever. Uh, but it's not it's not needed in this case. Look, it's just a small little area and I could just like manually plop down lots of trees and spend most of my time thinking about how amazing... Oh god, look at that tree. It's like right on the road actually. And then it's sort of like interfering with all of these other little trees that are sort of lining the roads as well, which are part of that road asset. Doesn't really matter though. Okay, excellent. So we want to fill this right up to make it look nice from like an aerial view because uh, eventually we'll install that helicopter mod and we'll take a helicopter tour of uh, Sipsco Coast and we want to make sure that this looks like just like as utterly fantastic as it possibly can. Great. Okay, let's get some like bushy trees in here so that nobody can admire the palm trees from the road because if you're on the road you have to turn in here to admire these palm trees it's like part of the law uh, and then we'll just get some more trees up in here there's like a bylaw in the Sipsco coast about admiring trees from the road you have to turn into a less busy road i feel and admire them from in there excellent okay and uh these businesses across the street of course are also missing water uh, which is good. We're fleecing them big time because uh, because they don't have water. They actually have to come to the Bon Jovi concert. So it's just like extra people turning up to the concert that wouldn't have otherwise been there. Uh, but now they, they turn up with like a bunch of buckets and uh, demand that some water is given to them. Actually, we should probably hook them up like straight away before they get too angry and move out. Okay, fine. There we go. Uh, so the Waterworks Company has turned up. Excellent. They've installed their new piping system. Uh, for these convenience stores and stuff. Let's get some more trees in here so that nobody can admire all of these convenience stores from the road uh, and thus forcing them to turn in and make use of the Bon Jovi Memorial Expo Concert Stadium and Family Fun Park. Excellent. Okay, that's enough trees. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That has come up. A treat and it's all thanks to these parking lots I mean normally people don't like parking lots I have some sort of like weird fascination with them honestly this is awesome for me I think that this is great really really good okay excellent and we have this like separator of palm trees We've got these nice little curvy roads to come up all these nice paths got a park we got the uh, expo center here now as well which had 55 visitors last week that's fantastic so uh, eventually we'll get some bus routes leading to it and stuff Oh man, it's gonna be great. Okay, so downtown Clowntown is really shaping up now, right? We've got this nice little like Bon Jovi concert area. We've got all of these like cool high rises and stuff in here. We migrated all of the commercial into here, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, excellent. Uh, we need to find out if we want to put something like in the middle of the clown's nose. Um, it looks like his Jordi LaForge visor is like all filled up now too. Uh, which is quite good. What's going on here? It's just like some stuff missing. How come there's stuff missing? Did I not like fill all this up? Oh well, I'll fill it up now because there is demand for commercial. Okay, so all the noise pollution generated here and here hopefully is uh, being like muffled by all the trees and possibly this while well, this road is generating uh, noise as well. So maybe not, but there we go. Uh, and we should be good. Okay, excellent. So, our new, like, little service area seems to be doing the job as well. How are we doing for, like, health? Health seems okay. We have um, tons of these crematoriums now, which is excellent. Uh, garbage? 
Incineration status is good. Landfill usage is uh, starting to... Wow, okay, great. So these are all emptying. So I think what we can do is we can start emptying some of these out slowly. We'll start emptying them out and getting rid of them. Uh, and then we'll just migrate trash land, I think, over to uh, this new service area, which we've literally called nothing so far. Um, let's call it something. We'll make a, a, its own district, which of course is sort of deforming the end of Tandong Bay. And it's called Elk Square. No, it's not. It's called uh, New Service Area. Well, I mean, that's what I keep calling it, right? So we'll just call it New Service Area. Fine. It is now New Service Area. Uh, there's a couple of abandoned buildings. There's a couple of buildings that uh, I guess caught fire in Disney World Florida uh, that we have to like pull those down so that we can make way for new stuff. Uh, we have a total mess of an off-ramp system here in the Final Fantasy VII Memorial off-ramp system. Um, which we can maybe think about sorting out at some point. Do I feel like sorting it out right now? I'll be honest with you. No, I don't. I, I, I can't. It's gonna give me a huge headache. I won't be able to sleep. I'll, I won't enjoy my weekend. Nothing. This is going to absolutely kill me if I try to tackle it right now. Um, if you have suggestions though, Feel free. Make some uh, make some images and leave them on Reddit or whatever for me, and I'll uh, analyze them like uh, some sort of scientist. Come back and I'll fix this because this is actually starting to uh, become a problem. Look at that. As long as the as long as the, it's backing up on the ramp, it's okay. It's when it starts to back up on the highway, we might have to sort it out. I feel like my highway system in the streaming city is like a little bit better than this one, but uh, it remains to be seen. Uh, is most of this being used? Not really. I don't think a lot of this gets used because of where we have... See, look, at they're, they're, they're shortcutting down here, aren't they? So, like, they come down here. Instead of going around or whatever, they shortcut here, go up here, and then go uh, up here again. This circle, I don't know, might be, like, completely crowded at some point and, like, unusable. But for now, seems to be coping okay. Uh, and we could probably expand out this way with some more residential and stuff. We got a bit of demand for residential. Got a lot of demand for probably offices by the looks of it. Uh, so let's do it. We'll set up some more uh, stuff along here. So that we can uh, carry on expanding and uh, making the downtown clown town area look okay. I was going to say nice, but like maybe it doesn't look that nice. Maybe it just looks okay-ish, possibly. Okay, so we'll come to here, uh, and then we'll have a road that sort of like follows alongside uh, the highway, and then it can hook up again to this main road. Because again, I don't think there's going to be much traffic generated uh, potentially by uh, this like office and residential area. I think it's mainly just like industry and commercial that sort of generates all of the traffic in this game, from what I can tell anyway. Maybe I'm like completely lying to you uh, and leading you on the the wrong path but i feel like maybe that's the case all right so what little bit of commercial uh demand we have left we can probably add uh some stuff in here because it's like across the street right so the noise pollution hopefully won't make it over into this new area that we're gonna earmark for like offices and residential um areas yeah okay cool uh let us also uh make a straight road that goes down like Something like this, I guess. Uh, and then we'll just sort of like have a wavy road in here to make uh, some more use of the space. Can connect up to the front here. We got this like nice road that sort of follows along like the coast, which is nice. And it's lined with trees too. Got all these parks in here. Oh man, it's all coming back. It's been a little while since I've looked at this city. And actually, parts of it are very, very nice. I I'm quite proud of this. Okay, great. Uh, so, we'll go straight, um, down here as well. We'll just get, like, some sort of, uh, like, mini grid going in here, I think. Uh, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. And something like... I think maybe we want to do something like this. <laughs> okay, that works. Alright, so, offices and, uh, residential. Maybe offices lining the sides here, too, because of the... Um, highway here. Does this have barriers? Sound barriers? I don't think it does, you know. Can we upgrade this? Cannot upgrade to this type. Cannot upgrade to this type. I wonder why we can't upgrade to this type. Is it because it's raised? Oh, yeah, it is. Because it's raised. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Fine. All right. Uh, let's uh, make sure that we have some water. Oh, we do already? I can't believe I actually added water to all of this area. That's great. 
And uh, let's see about getting uh, some stuff in here. Do we want like to have a park or anything in any of these areas? Probably not, actually. We don't really want anything along this like busy road because we don't want people like stopping in and causing traffic jams. Especially not like commercial and stuff. Maybe offices and stuff are okay, but uh, definitely not commercial. Let's see about offices, actually. We build offices like right on the road here. Is that going to cause problems? Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay, fine. And we can like go into like small brush mode. Let's see if this like makes any difference. I have no idea, actually. Uh, we'll get an office here too. And then uh, most of this stuff I think could be uh, high density residential along here. Mm, here we go. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Get a whole bunch of residential in here. Hopefully there's enough of a buffer so that uh, the noise pollution doesn't come through and keep all of these poor people up late at night. I mean, already. Oh, I wonder if we can, um, yeah, once this is all built out, actually, we can remove these power lines because that's not a very nice view, is it? Oh, these people in this apartment are like, oh my God, we're so lucky. We got the best view in the, oh. And then they have just this like huge power line, this like power tower thing holding the lines in right in front of them. That's like something you would see, I don't know, maybe like in, um, I was going to say Cuba, but actually I have no idea. <laughs> Is that something that, it reminds me a bit of Tropico. Uh, that's why I thought of Cuba straight away, but maybe not. I, I mean, apparently Cuba is actually really beautiful, but uh, I have no idea. I've never been, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, but it did remind me a bit of Tropico, the fact that it looks kind of nice. Also looks a bit like a uh, tenement building and has... <laughs> some sort of like disgusting power tower right across the street from it okay excellent all right uh so more offices then uh by the looks of it and are these offices uh, along this busy street actually causing problems i don't think any cars are actually pulling into these so maybe not maybe they don't take deliveries either so maybe it's okay just to have like them right on the sidewalks like that i mean i kind of like having buildings along this uh road like this so maybe that is something that can work we'll see We'll just build some here for now, and then if we notice traffic jams developing in the area, then that sort of answers our question, right? We'll use this space too, actually. Just get some nice office buildings in here. All right, excellent. So, uh, the rest of this can be... Oh, yeah, we wanted this all up here to be office too, just to sort of, like, create a buffer between the residential and the highway, because it's going to be pretty noisy. Because uh, there's a whole bunch of, like, rip-roaring Ferraris and stuff traveling down this highway at all times and of course when I say that I mean dump trucks because they're all heading back to the new service area which is fine actually this is like their uh, sort of primary path back to there they have to take the big clover leaf and then they have to go back awesome okay great uh, so more residential in there and we could probably shove some more residential in here too we got a little bit of demand developing for uh, commercial as well uh, let's just shove more, even more residential in here, uh, and then when it's ready to build, it can build. Uh, and then we can think about getting, like, the bus stations and stuff down here. So, oh god, I'm really tempted, actually, to fill in some of these gaps with, uh, more offices, too. Because there's still a little uh, a little bit of demand for them. Alright, we're gonna do it, look. We're gonna fill all this up with offices. Just, uh, just to make use of the space, right? It's okay to have space, like, in between the highways empty, but, like, along the roads and stuff, you want to sort of use as, mu as much space as you can, right? No? Maybe? Maybe just me? Okay, fine. Uh, and then, of course, here, too. Look at that. Gosh. Bon Jovi, if he doesn't want to, like, deal crack or have his lunch in the park, he can always just come over here and do some, like, word processing or something after the concert that would be fun too right everybody likes to do like a little bit of sort of recreational word processing from time to time no i mean i i'm not saying that i do i'm just assuming that most people maybe out there would like to do something like that possibly i'm not sure all right fine so we've expanded out this way a little bit uh we've got our expo stadium set up which is now um wow we're up we had 55 the week before we had 58 last week and then we're taking a bit of a dip because of the Easter holidays with 53 uh, currently. And only five tourists. All right. We have to, like, sort of incentivize tourists to visit the Sipsco Coast. And I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. Um, do we want to start emptying out some of these cemeteries as well? I feel like, yeah. I like having the cemeteries. That one's uh, totally empty, so it can start accepting bodies again. 
Uh, anything that's full, I think we can just start emptying out because they're not doing anything while they're full, right? Might as well empty them out, burn the bodies, <laughs> get rid of the evidence, uh, and then uh, have some uh, more space for more bodies uh, later on again. Okay, excellent. I'm just like, I, it's been so long since I've looked over here at Bagelsville and Donutsville and stuff. We still have like some touching up and stuff to do, uh, but we can do that later. Oh my God, what is happening here? Oh, everybody's trying to get off here and to go God knows where. I have no idea. Are these people all trying to get into this, like, commercial area? Or are they trying to get, like, down and around here? Holy shit, that is, like, the traffic jam of the century. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to have to, like, fix this. We might have to build, like, a roundabout underneath here, which I've done before. I actually have experience in this field now. So um, that might be something to tackle next time. Oh, my God. I don't really want to say goodbye to you on such like a, a low note, but I am going to because again, I, th I don't think I can solve this right now. <laughs> I think I need to like think about it a bit and then come back and solve it later because holy crap. I mean, at the same time, whilst it's worrying, it's kind of cool to see a big traffic jam, isn't it? Look, like we've created all of this. It's fantastic. All right, great. Okay, well, uh, as I was saying to begin with uh, at the start of the episode, Sorry there's been such a delay with these, uh, but we're back. Uh, Grim Fandango and Hotline Miami are done, so that means I'll have more time to do these. And Fallout, Fallout will be back next week as well. Um, I, I had time to do this today, so I'm doing it so that there's something over the weekend. Uh, and if you're enjoying the live stream footage that's going up, great. Uh, and if not, stay tuned for more sort of bite-sized stuff uh, that it comes out as usual. Um, to come out as usual. Great. All right, excellent. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Look, I'll go into like super, oh, look at that. It's like dramatic camera mode. Uh, thanks very much for watching as usual, and I'll see you next time.